Krienek, he can deal with Sabine really well. I think he's a really strong counter for Sabine. Now, my question is, is Krienek better than Aiden or is Aiden better than Krienek? Because I think Aiden can do... On average, she does about the same amount of healing that uh, Krienek does without the cargo juggernaut. About four to five heals uh, healed per turn from the actual leader. Per game, sorry, not per turn. So I, I want to know which one is better. Let's jump in and see Krienek versus Aiden. Uh, in the 1k event, this was, I believe, round uh, 4 or 5. I'm sorry, guys. There's not a lot of information. But we're still going to showcase you guys the tournament. We're going to showcase the decks and the, the, the gameplays because we want to see how people are playing. This is one of the biggest tournaments happening. So you need to keep an eye on everything. Both of them are running ECL, so it's going to be a great matchup to keep our eyes on. Both of them do the same thing. They heal each other each other's bases and so it's just gonna be whoever can do better late game i think is gonna be the better player he's gonna be able to take the win this cranic is starting with the inf uh, inferno four something we don't re regularly see in cranic i just don't think that early game inferno four is that game changing it doesn't really do anything it does put some damage on the table it does allow you to set up a little bit early but you don't even know what you're looking for in a setup early maybe later in the game it's better but early it's, it just doesn't doesn't make a big difference for you you do have a space unit it's better than what Aiden did which is just take initiative of course but it's just not as valuable as people might think. Uh, there it is, super lasers popped up. Now, you need your own super laser as Krenik to counter this. So you can stay ahead. So Krenik pushes out his own super laser. And then we take initiative and then Inferno 4 deals 2 damage and then we pass. No worries, Aiden can heal all that damage. I wonder if we're going to uh, put that Star Viper into the resource. I think we do. I don't think we need Star Vipers in this game. We just do so much healing. Now, unless we need air, we need space, then that makes sense to keep the Star Vipers. I don't think we need space, though. I think we're fine. Here. Still thinking, still thinking, still figuring it out. Um, yeah, I think we just put the Star Viper. I don't think you need it. I don't think you need the Star Viper. Keep the overwhelming barrages. You never know. You could use two in a game. That's fine. It doesn't hurt you to use two in a game. Especially when you can pull out an item and use it. So you're going to gain the value from it. Still thinking. <clears throat> I don't know what he put in. I'm assuming it's overwhelming. I think he had the second one and just put it in. Is that two super laser blasts? I'm not sure. I can't even see anything. I'm going to stop assuming. There, the super laser blasts are going to trade. Meaning, Kranik wants to pull out this turn. So, it makes sense that he traded. There's nothing else to trade with. So, might as well just trade. I see a Gideon Haskin hand. That's going to be a really good play there from the Kranik side. Aiden needs to gain some control over this board. Because she's slowly losing the control. I don't know if her late game is going to be better. We'll see. There, there's a Star Viper I've been talking about. Maybe we could have waited one turn for the Inferno 4 to attack first. Maybe not. There's the Gideon. Gideon After Gideon comes a ha uh, Krennic. And it's not necessary here. Krennic doesn't do a lot. Uh, but it does allow us to heal a little bit. It's not going to be a big, big game changer. A lot of thinking from the Aiden side, you just need to take initiative. No need to heal or do anything. Just take the initiative. Actually, you could have healed. You could have healed one. You could have healed one because there's no more super laser. You don't need to take initiative yet. We knew he was going to pull out the Kranic. We had, we had time. We had time to just to heal at least one. Now we don't heal anything. That's why I can't see his cards. They're foiled up and in, in that dark, uh, like through the angle, it's a little bit darker than usual. Because the foils. What's the plan here for Aiden? 
I then can play down overwhelming. Looks like Krennic is really happy with his mid game hand. <laughs> mid hand. Mid, it's pretty mid actually. Two ATTs, two ATSTs. Yeah, there it is. Overwhelming barrage to kill the Gideon. It's his big, biggest value. And also, he has now a Star Viper that says five. Kill anything that's air. I don't know if Krennic needs to even deal with the Star Viper. He doesn't have to. He could have kept pushing damage out with the Inferno 4. He could have forced the Star Viper to attack his Inferno 4 instead of him attacking to his Star Viper. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about misplays, guys, that you guys are not seeing yet. You're going to notice. For example, the right there, that play Inferno 4 dying... Inferno 4 shouldn't die to the Star Viper. Inferno 4 attacks into the base and Star Viper is attacks into the Inferno 4. That's what happens. But instead we attacked into the Star Viper, lost that 2 damage onto the base that we could have pushed out. And now we get a full attack onto us, 5 damage. It's insane, huge. He heals the 2. This is big, big, big momentum for the Star Viper that we shouldn't have given it. Just that small switch of us attacking, we actually pushed out a little bit more damage. Now, and we and we shut down, we kind of block the attack from the Consortium Star Viper. You guys need to notice that stuff. There's the, the ATST is down. I don't think we can deal with it except with the Vanquish though. So we have to take initiative and go next turn. You can also pull out the Iden here. Yeah, it looks like we just took initiative. I think the best thing to do in that game What's to pull Aiden? First thing to do was to pull Aiden. Like this whole turn, instead of playing overwhelming and all that, we should have just played Aiden. Pulled it out. I think we have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We just pull Aiden out. Then we do all that shenanigan. Yeah, we if we need if we lose the Star Viper, that's fine. We have Aiden to overwhelming barrage it. But to act like the first thing you want to do is overwhelming the Star Viper just for the Gideon, that was mis I think that was that wasn't great. Because now we couldn't even pull the Aiden because we we wanted to take the initiative. So we never pulled the Aiden out. So I, I'm not sure if Aiden is making misplays here. But this guy is also making misplays. Of course he wanted to pull out the Aiden this turn. But he couldn't. He wanted to take the initiative. And the only misplay, the only problem he, that happened that I can see is he overwhelming first. If he pulled Aiden first, whatever. No way you can deal with the Aiden because she's shielded. Unless he has takedown. Which is possible. He does have takedown. But then at least you pulled out the item and got rid of the takedown. Now you can go for the overwhelming barrage. I see a Vanquish in hand for the Krennic player. I don't know why. I feel like this game is just it feels it should feel better for the Aiden. I feel like Krennic is just so weak. Those two attacks is just not impactful at all. It's just zero impact, right? It's nice to heal, but zero impact. Part of the dark side is big here. You have to kill your ATSD. Hey, thank you so much for the subscription, my brother. Andre Barboso, thank you. Yeah, we have to kill the Kranic. ATSD is just so much value. This is how you know that Kranic actually is trash. When you have the option between Krennic and ATST, you actually kill Krennic. I'm thinking about it. if I had the option between Aiden and ATST. Yeah, you kill Aiden. <laughs> actually, ATST is just so much value. It just doesn't leave the board once it lands. Yeah, these Aiden uh, Krennic games are going to go on forever. So much healing. Take down. ATSD for 6 damage. Star Viper attacks and heals. Take initiative. Heal 1. Oh, pulling out the Aiden finally. Now we can attack to ATSD. No, we attack it to just his base. And then we pass. 
So this is bad. ATST can just, uh, oh, actually, they cannot just overwhelming barrage. They have to actually deal with the Aiden's board. They actually have to deal with the board, guys. So he has to deal with the Aiden's shield. Then he can overwhelming barrage. So let's see how he deals with this. Wait, wait, wait. Did he just put overwhelming barrage in the resources? That's crazy. I think he actually just put overwhelming barrage in the resources. He pulls out a cell block, it's gonna be really good. No, he pulls out a death trooper to kill the Aiden. Really good play. That's really good play. Cell block uh, is great there, but death trooper even is better because now you kill the Aiden immediately. Aiden didn't gain any value. See, that's why you only wanna pull out Aiden when you have initiative. Ah, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. The problem is Aiden can get dealt with much better than Krennic can deal with things. The way I'm looking at the game, I think Krennic is the superior one. Aiden just cannot stay on board. Aiden just can get dealt with so easy. There's so many ways to kill Aiden. You can break her shield, just attack into her with a Vader. You can... That Vader combo with the Death Trooper, that's huge. That can... That's guaranteed almost every single game they can do that. There's... Uh, I don't know, there's so many ways that they're healing that I think Krennic is actually better. The only problem with Krennic is he doesn't... I wish he could do damage. I mean, he does give you plus one damage, but I wish he could actually shoot out that damage. Look at that. That's insane. Let's go. Let's go. Clearing out board. Because he took the initiative, the overwhelming barrage. This is what I'm talking about, guys. He didn't give Relentless the opportunity to even come out. Now we actually take full control of the over the game with an eight damage attack from the, the from the thing and look at the top of our cards. Come on, look at the top of your cards. Look at the top card. Bro, why would you attack with reinforcement walker and not use his ability? I don't understand. Can somebody explain to me why I attack with reinforcement walker and then just not use its ability? No comment. Just no comment. Low IQ. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> low, low, e low experience. Low EXP. Oh my god, Relentless with Overwhelming Barrage. Does he actually flip this game upside down right now? What's he thinking about? You got the W. It's an Overwhelming Barrage. So it feels, feels like a train just hit him. Empty your board. And now Aiden actually cannot play anything. Can can't even take down the relentless. Yeah, but he can devastate her the relent. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, but this is very scary because now power of the dark side can kill this. Oh no, he just took initiative. Ah, uh, he took initiative and then he gave up the game. He must have known, he must have drew his two and then saw no Centennial and passed. Or no Vanquish and passed. He needed a Vanquish. Or a Power of the Dark Side. He had a way to deal with the Devastator, he just never drew into it. Devastator came out perfect timing against the Relentless. Proving that Devastator is better than Relentless again. The second time we proved that. Alright, this is game two, guys. Uh, honestly, I cannot believe it, but, but Aiden's performing better than the Krennic. I, I really believe the Krennic was going to do better. But the Aiden's doing great. Even though there's a lot of misplays happening, like we didn't draw anything with the Reinforcement Walker. We got our own Inferno 4, throwing it all down to the bottom. I guess no, we'll keep the Gideon on top. Alright, 
Let's play the game. Come on, boys. Let's see what you got. I don't know, guys. I just don't see any value from Relentless. Not like you do with Devastators. There's a power of the dark side in the hand. What can Aiden do here? Consortium, Vi Viper? Yeah, we take Star Viper, we take full control over space. I think that's what we do here. Yeah, this is a good turn to, to take control of space. And then we didn't take initiative. That's fine, heal. Oh, we didn't, we didn't kill anything to heal, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's probably why Krennic is better. His healing is unlocked the second he comes out, and I don't. Th and there's nothing that can kill him, so he's gonna get the restore too, no matter what. Whereas Aiden might go the whole game and not be able to restore her, right? Because she wants to take initiative in certain p points in the game, or at certain points in the game she couldn't kill. I don't know. It's very interesting. I need to test th those two decks out more to see which one is better. But it's it's either Krennic or Aiden are the best deck in the game right now because they just the healing is necessary. You cannot survive the game. And also they get blue and black, so they're the best colors for late game. Blue black is insane for late game. Blue black gives you everything, gives you Avengers, gives you super lasers, gives you all the takedowns you need, all the vanquishes you need. That's a Krennic on the side, guys, and a Viper. So this is a 3-2 Viper and this is a 2-7 Krennic. Aiden cannot heal here, but she did push a lot of damage on the side. Five damage, to be exact. But also his opponent pushed out five damage. So I guess whoever is healing more is going to do it. The second resupply here is really good. Fortunately, Krennic does not gain as much value as... Uh, like a Vader does from a resupply. Mid-game resupply. Mid-phase resupply would be insane because it sh jumps you to seven and then you can do stuff. Immediately. What's the plan here? Gideon, Viper, and a Reinforcement Walker. I don't think... We cannot play the Reinforcement Walker this turn, but next turn we can. So here we go for, for Gideon or Viper. And it's just going to depend. I think we're going to go for the Viper because we want something to deal with the air. But we could also go for Gideon and just have full control over ground. Yeah, I think we're going to go space here. We're just going to go Star Viper, take control over... Just put something in space so we can a little bit not lose full control over that space area. Pete attacks with one. It's weak. So Aiden's gonna pull out this turn. Gotta be careful. It's a good turn for Aiden to pull out. The only real threat here is Gideon. Gideon ECL. Aiden cannot heal. Did not kill anything this game. The only way they can heal is by pulling out. But he's scared to pull out because he thinks that the guy is going to deal with him. I think you're fine to pull out. You have your shield. Unless he believes the guy has a takedown. Which is proving why Aiden is not ideal. The idea that Aiden loses to a takedown is trash. Nice! Absolutely amazing play. Now he needs to clear the board. And now Gideon, even though Gideon comes to kill, he doesn't actually kill the Aiden. That was such a good play. ECL Gideon does not kill Aiden here. Not right now. He kills himself too. And yeah, he gives, a, he gives Viper one, plus one plus one, but that's not enough. Wow, so now Aiden clears board, kills the Gideon here, I think, and kills the Viper. 
and still has space units to deal with things on the side here. Let's see what happens. I think you're gonna have to ECL the Gideon Hask. You have to. That's the only play you have as a Krennic. You don't have anything else to do. You have to ECL it. Yeah, you ECL it and you put as much damage. Oh, he, he just doesn't ECL it. That's the only difference. Makes sense. You still lose the Gideon though. Or, or we can take an step and overwhelming barrage one more time next turn. Yeah, damn it. So he gives up. Yeah, he needs to kill the Gideon. He cannot keep Gideon on board. My question is when Kirian dies Does he not when the Aiden dies does he does Gideon not give plus one plus one here? Even though he just died doesn't he give plus one plus one? I thought Gideon gives plus one plus one even if he dies Let me go read it When an enemy unit is defeated, give an experienced unit to a friendly unit. Yeah, he should have given plus one, plus one here. A lot of mis misplays happening, guys. It's okay. So, we overwhelming the Star Viper. Wait a minute, why didn't we kill... Oh, yeah, because we all, all we had was five damage. Okay, makes sense. Sorry, guys, it jumped off. So we did Star Viper 3 and then 2 here, we didn't have enough damage to kill. We did take down there, now we play our own Star Viper and we have one more card which is Reinforcement Walker in hand. And then empty the board and then pass. We need to start drawing some late game stuff here uh, for the Aiden. Also, I noticed they never use their ECLs against each other. I do see here the Steadfast, uh, which is really good. Ooh, Avenger. Really nice timing there. Unfortunately, we just threw our power to the dark side, so this Avenger is going to stay on board. No, never mind. We have a Vanquish. Pass. I think we just reinforce my walker now. It depends now who, who's drawing better late game, he's gonna win the game. Because now they're all top ducking. Honestly, it's not that there's a better leader, it's just whoever top decks better now. They just do so much healing. Ooh, place is on Relentless. That would have been better to be a Devastator. Another reason why Devastator is better than Relentless. I just never find any anywhere that Relentless is good in. I can't find it. Show me, show me a place where Relentless is better than Devastator. Can't find that. So now we can't even play the game because the Relentless is on board. We have to kill our own Relentless with his Relentless. Also, Reinforcement Walker is going to kill us. Looks like Aiden lost this game. That's crazy. He has power, two power of the dark side. Instead of playing both of them so he can kill the Relentless, he just played his own Relentless. That's... <laughs> Kind of smart, actually. Because he, the first one would have been removed with the Relentless. So he had to make sure he he actually plays a pl makes a play happen that actually does something. There it is. It takes 8 damage. Now the Walker is going to attack. Does he win game? Yeah, if he attacks, he takes initiative, he wins game, right? Yeah, he wins game if he takes initiative. If he takes initiative right now, wins game. Doesn't matter anymore. 
Nothing can shut, shut him down. You take initiative, you win game. Right now, Aiden cannot play the game. He has to take initiative. I think Aiden's at like 26 damage or 20, 20 something damage. Or at least 16, like something big. Something one attack away. One like six or seven, eight. Six or seven damage attack away. I think they lose here. I think Aiden lost again. That's a long time to think about it. Still thinking. People need to recognize when they lost, they lost, man. Just pass the game over. Yeah, I wasted the overwhelming. Then vanquishes that. But then he loses the game, right? No, why didn't he heal then? He, he could have healed. Why didn't he heal? Maybe it's not, not enough. I don't know. Maybe he's already at 20. I can't see that. So why are you not healing? So now he's at 20. Nice. Overwhelming barrage on the Relentless. I think Relentless can win game here with one attack. Doesn't that win game? No, I guess not. Bro, what kind of damage? You, so you tell me you didn't do any damage? You just did a 10 damage attack? Late game and still didn't win you game? Alright, well initiative wins you game, right? That wins you game. So the guy plays ATST instead of playing double power of the dark side so he can get killed the relentless. I can't think, guys. Am I the one thinking wrong or is... What? Don't, don't you play the double power of the dark side? Am I wrong? 